What's up y'all? So today we are going to be doing something really fun. I have here the Laurel Los Angeles Party Animal and Boss Babe palettes. Um, I did get the bundle from her website the day that it launched and it was $30 whenever I bought it and I'm really excited. So we open it up, pull these out like little trays and then it has the palettes on the inside. This one is the Party Animal palette. Whenever I got this Party Animal palette, it instantly reminded me of my Urban Decay Electric palette. So I have everything swatched here. And as you can see, there are some pretty, you know, significant similarities. Um, this is the Laura Lee palette up here. And down here is the Urban Decay Electric palette. Okay, so we are going to move on to the Boss Bay palette and see what we got going on here. It's a really beautiful neutral palette. So if you're not into all the craziness and the colors in the Party Animal palette, this is an absolutely beautiful neutral palette. So I would say the only thing similar that I have to the Boss Babe palette would be these two ColourPop palettes. We have the Cute AF one and the I Think I Love You palette. This is the I Think I Love You palette and then Laura Lee Los Angeles Boss Babe palette and then the I Think I Love You palette. So I mean you can kind of see the similarities in this one as well. So here's some swatches that I did. The top row is the Boss Babe palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. And then this bottom row is some swatches from the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. And I do want to say that this shade right here is spoiled from the ColourPop Cute AF palette. So I'm going to clean up my mess here because I have palettes and eyeshadows everywhere and tons of trash. And whenever I come back, we are going to be applying the Boss Babe on one eye and Party Animal on the other eye. So I will be right back. Alright, so I don't really know what I'm going to be doing today with my eyes. I'm just going to kind of go in and start winging it. Um, but like I said, we are going to be putting the Boss Babe on this side and we're going to be putting Party Animal on this side. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with Boss Babe palette into this shade right here, which is Deadline. So immediately whenever I did that, it kind of kicked up a lot of powder. Put this into my crease here. And this is an Essence um, Eye Blender brush. And I'm actually going to go back into my color switch thing and take some of that off and then just blend. And I'm going to pick up Drinks. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So I'm going to take a Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to go into 9 to 5 from the Boss Babe palette. And again, it is pretty powdery whenever I pick it up. So just make sure that you knock off the excess. And I'm going to take this one lower into my crease. And we're really going to kind of start packing it in on this outer edge right here. Pick up a little bit more and I'm going to pack it in to my inner corner as well and I'm going to leave the lid space in the middle blank. And I'm going to grab that first brush, the Essence brush, and I'm just going to kind of blend this. I don't have any product on it. So I cleaned off my Morphe M433 brush. And um, I'm going to go in karaoke. I'm going to take this on the outer edge. So I'm going to grab this little Coastal Scents brush. It's, this is clean. It's just so, so stained. And I'm going to grab Damage Control right here. Pick up a little bit of that. And I'm just going to help kind of blend out karaoke with that. And I am going to dip into Clocked Out. And I'm going to deepen my inner and outer edge with this. 
I'm mostly just going to lay the color with this one and then I'm going to go out and blend it with a different brush. And I picked up the tiniest bit of clocked out and I'm just going to blend. And back in with a clean essence brush. And I'm going to grab Hungover. And back in to this inner and outer corner. Now I'm grabbing damage control on my M433. Kind of got a lot there. And I'm just going to try to blow out these edges a little bit. It's not wanting, I don't know, maybe it's just because I have so much of the color going on. It's not wanting to really blend out the way that I want it to. Like the color doesn't want to be as strong as I'd like it to be. It's kind of going a little bit like gray and muddy. So the concealer that I'm going to use to carve out my halo with is going to be the Hard Candy Glamouflage, and I have the shade Ivory. And I'm going to look up. So I got that line up there. And I'm actually going to take some of the concealer off of my hand, or off of my brush. So now my only problem is deciding which of these shades from the Boss Babe palette that I want to use on my lid. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up CEO on my finger and I'm going to tap that right in the center. So I'm going to pick up the Morphe M432 brush and I'm going to dip that into CEO so I can get right up in here. You know, I'm going to take a little bit of on the grind and just pop that right there in the center. I don't like this. I don't like how it's turning out. Pick up a little bit more clocked out. And this is a Morphe M514 brush. I'm going to stop messing with that. Um, some days you just have bad makeup days and today I cannot do a halo eye to save my life. So I'm going to stop messing with that side. I'm going to move on to my party animal side. And we're gonna try it again. So, so I'm gonna take bottoms up and apply this. So a little change of pace right now. I'm not loving my eye makeup right now. It's not the shadows. It's just my technique. I'm really off. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. Two hours later. So as we can see, this side is completely different than what we had going on earlier. Um, I was having a lot of difficulties. I didn't like how my eyeshadow was looking. It wasn't the eyeshadow itself. It was just me and my technique and what I was doing. It just wasn't panning out for me. Um, I mean, you know, some days you have off days and today is just not my day. 
for eyeshadow. So, what I did, I'll walk you through. I forgot to record, and then by the time I was like, you know, pretty far into it, there was no point in trying to pick up where I was. Um, so let me just walk you through what I did. So I took Issa Party in my upper crease, drank into my lower crease, hung over onto my uh, like outer half, and then I did cut the crease with concealer, and I put bottoms up right here on the inner half, and then I just blended that together. The eyeliner that I'm wearing today is from Ico London. It is the I Do Liquid Liner. I still love this one. Got it in an Allure Beauty Box a few months ago, and I'm still using it today. And then I just put a very thin line of liner on this eye. Um, so, we do have two totally different eyes going on, but I don't really care at this point. It's okay. <laughs> so, we're going to finish up um, with our lower lash lines on both of the eyes. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lashes with some L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So we're going to go in on the Boss Babe side. I'm going to use my Morphe M432 brush, and I'm going to pick up Clocked Out. I'm just going to get this in really tight to my lower lashes. I'm going to drag it all the way in. Okay, so I just threw a little bit of the L'Oreal Blackest Black Gel Liner into my waterline and my tight line. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M415 brush and into the shade 9 to 5. And just going to buff out this lower lash line. Actually, I need a smaller brush. Just going to go in with this Coastal Scents pencil brush. Now for my party animal side, I am going to go in with the shade Karaoke. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it really tight into my lower lash line. And grabbing that same pencil brush from Coastal Scents. Clean it off, and I'm going to go in with the shade Damage Control. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. Okay, so we have our lashes on, and I did take off the black uh, gel liner that I had on this eye, and I did use... This from my uh, July Allure Beauty Box. Um, I don't know the name of the brand. It is D-O-U-C-C-E Douche? Douche? I don't really know. Anyways, this is the Ultra Precision Liner. It is in the shade Blue. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful formula. The color is so beautiful. The formula is amazing. It glided on. Super pigmented color. So I really, really like this. Um, and then for my lips, I also wanted to use something from my Allure Beauty Box because I'm kind of filming this in conjunction with that. And this is from Makeup Forever. And it is the Artist Color Pencil. And this is in the shade Full Red. So I'm just going to line my lips. And I don't think that red's going to look good with this, but it's fine. <laughs> And I'm going to go over that with my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Pioneer. Okay, so I never have a problem with this lipstick whenever I use it, but I'm smushing my lips together, and it's taking off my lipstick from my upper lip, and it's making it look really patchy. So I don't know if that is the lip liner... So I'm going to try my best not to mush my lips together. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it for today. We have the beautiful Boss Bay palette on this eye. And the super fun party animal on this eye. I do really like these. I know that we did find a lot of dupes from the Urban Decay Electric palette with this palette. But 
it's still really fun. Um, I mean, I think it's kind of up to you whether or not, you know, if you have the electric palette, if you feel that you want this one, I mean, it's not a bad palette. You're not going to be disappointed. Um, so I think it's kind of up to you. I'm still glad that I got it and I'm still glad that I have this one even though I do have a ton of neutral palettes as well. So with that being said, I do like them. I love the formula. Everything blended out really nice. The colors were good. The pigment was there. Um, I had trouble but that was just with my technique and just me applying the product that had nothing to do with the product itself. So I absolutely love it. I love how these looks turned out. Um, if you do have any requests, want to see anything in particular, please let me know because I would love to do that. And so if you did enjoy it and you want to see some more from me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post a video. But I will see you in the next one. Bye.